Mr. Organic has resorted to major clickbait titles for his YouTube videos, his views are down, his audience is beginning to catch on to his lies, and his channel is slowly dying, his stock is crashing faster than Netflix, and then he decided to slander white boy Spencer. This is Mr. Organic, a popular influencer known for his car collection, witty conversational poetry, and his eccentric outfits. Mr. Organic has given himself the nickname of three of them, which refers to the average number of lies he'll share per YouTube video. Mr. Inauthentic decided to address me by name and said some very ugly things about my character. Little did he know that I'm one of them ones who don't back down to a clown spewing defamatory remarks. This is a real n***a doing this shit, man. They send these weird old little white dudes and all that, making uh, you know, videos in their basement and all that, trying to contemplate what a n***a doing. What's that n***a name? Spencer and all that, man. I, come on, man. Correction, I make videos on the bottom floor of a house I own, Mr. Organic. It's a really nice house with guess how many floors? Three of them. He a toe sucker, man. He suck his boyfriend's toes all day, which is cool. You know, it's, it's 2022, everybody do what they want to, but. <laughs> I'm a toe sucker, apparently. He probably has PTSD from all the times he had to go to his sponsors and suck their toes at the end of the month, begging for another Instagram sponsorship so he could pay his rent. Please, my bookie, just give me another chance. My views are in the toilet, but I promise my fans will sign up. You know what I'm saying? Don't suck mine, man. I don't like no man sucking my toes, you hear me? That ain't my motif, brother. I like women, brother, so don't worry about the color of my drawers, you know what I mean? Don't worry about your boyfriend, man. I absolutely love when people resort to the you're gay at homonym attack as if someone's sexual preferences have anything to do with their YouTube videos. I'm sure his drawers are clean because all the shit from his stomach comes out of his mouth and not the rear end. It's cool, I'm a n not no white boy, man. So don't come playing with me. Just everybody get down and stood, man. You know, I have these little white dudes they can talk about a real like me. Is it just me that the hard talk is kind of offset by the fact that he's holding multiple purses and the only validation he gets is from all the housewives in Malibu? Oh my god, Mr. Organic, your purse line would look so special in my trash next to my knockoff Gucci slippers and vegan dog food. You're probably wondering how we even got here. About a month ago, I made a video detailing influencer marketing that I think is damaging for the fans of these influencers. I even used an image where Mr. Organic's face isn't showing because the video isn't really about him. It wasn't even an exposed video or anything. I just pointed out how he gets sponsored by a company called MyBookie, who has terrible reviews online, is known as a shady online casino, and given what I know about casinos, Mr. Organic is basically promoting a really potentially dangerous addiction to his followers. He doesn't even gamble himself. Do you gamble? I don't fucking gamble. Since Mr. Organic has skin thinner than this plastic shower rod in his hand, he decided to address me personally, I guess. That ain't gonna be lucrative, you feel me? And we're gonna stand on that. Yeah, it's real in this YouTube shit now, we'll get some understanding. Am I supposed to feel threatened by a guy who carries cheap purses? This dude seriously looks like Paris Hilton's assistant right here. I could just picture Paris saying, hey, Mr. Organic, please be careful with the purse in your right hand because my fragile little dog is in there. So Spencer, whatever his name is, white boy, man, kick rocks, man. Don't come over playing with no I think it's racist, I think you're a racist. You know what I'm saying, that's in my eyes. Uh-oh, Mr. Organic is turning to slander to settle this beef. It's ironic that he made these claims since he has a few videos circulating on YouTube of him making a lot of racist remarks. The reason why he has leverage over me and why I can't sue him for defamation is because he has no assets to go after. You think I want his $5 custom-made jewelry? When am I going to win in a judgment, the rental contract on his house? Anytime a white man say here contemplate a black man's pockets, that's racist. We come from nothing. We're going to do what we want to do, how we do it. You hear me? It ain't no hate, it just gets some understanding. The reason why you see a reaction like this is because people like me can see right through the facade that guys like Mr. Inauthentic built up. He knows that I know he's a fraud and he's just trying to defame my character by calling me a racist. Go play with your own kind, man. It's real dude. I'm in my own bag. Get out of here, peasant. Three of them. Three of them purses in your hand when you go to your Malibu spas. It's so funny that a guy who owns nothing but a cheap influencer merch brand looks down on other people. I love the peasant nickname because I do live like I'm super broke. Maybe he's jealous that I bought three of them properties in the past year and he owns none. Hey, Mr. Organic, if you want to learn how to buy real estate, I'll gladly help out. The only thing I'm concerned with is your ability to qualify for a loan. But don't worry, we have plenty of first-time home buying programs available. Is there anything that represents a financially strapped influencer better than this image? A guy sitting in a plastic King Throne chair he bought off Craigslist and holding up a bunch of purses he bought from a wholesaler, hoping to convince you to buy them so he can pay his rent this month? That's a little introduction to the guy who got fired from Barnum & Bailey during the pandemic since the clown show was no longer needed. One mention of my name wasn't enough, so he decided to slander me even more on a YouTube Live that a friend thankfully recorded. White boy spins. I don't worry about no Caucasian motherfuckers, man. I don't worry about no white boys that want to suck my cock.
As you'd probably guess, he's surrounded by his purses, again talking about a man giving him fellatio. He's presenting some really good arguments that are difficult to challenge. If I didn't have access to a calendar, I'd guess I was back in high school with these types of insults. You know what I'm saying? I don't allow him to do that, man. I like women. You know what I'm saying? Spencer's a bitch. Who do you think is more of a bitch? Me, who's just a silly YouTuber protecting consumers from falling for scammy schemes promoted by influencers, or Mr. Organic who has such low self-esteem that he has to try and convince everyone that he owns a house that he doesn't own. Worshiping black man, still in our culture, doing like rapping and all that. I'm not sure what he's referring to by stealing our culture and rapping. I wrote a poem to his buddies Bandman Kevo in Fresh and Fit in videos, maybe that's what he's referring to, but I didn't know a specific race had ownership of writing poetry or rapping. He's doing culture vulture shit. We do not stand for that. His ass need to be canceled. The reason Mr. Inauthentic wants me to get canceled is so I stop educating people on these influencer-driven scams like signing up for my bookie or being seduced by cars and jewelry so you overlook that very little value comes out of this guy's mouth. He doing, he like doing, you know what I'm saying? He doing racist shit. Acting like black people. First off, how exactly do I act like black people? I generally want to know where this comes from. This sounds like more of a character assassination against me. I wouldn't expect a well thought out argument coming from Mr. Inauthentic, but I was hoping he could do better than this. Doing raps and all that, trying to talk about black people. Sounds like we found a racial gatekeeper. Any black person who commits fraud is off limits from now on. I can only talk about white people committing fraud, apparently. Mr. Inauthentic unfortunately doesn't have equivalent brain power to his car's horsepower, so he's unable to understand that my channel is about bringing awareness to the scams and schemes of the world, regardless of who's doing it. If I were making every single video about a specific race, then I would agree that this criticism would be valid, but I feel like I do a pretty good job of balancing topics and influencers. He's a racist, he's a culture vulture, and he want his white ass up out of here. I do appreciate criticism, so I'm always open to hearing feedback. If anyone thinks I'm a culture vulture, I'd love to hear why. I had to look up Urban Dictionary's definition, and I don't think any of them applies to me. I think it's really funny listening to someone slander your name. I enjoy this back and forth because I think it's hilarious. I have nothing to hide, but Mr. Inauthentic does, so playing this game is fun to me. If Mr. Organic starts a Twitter hashtag called Cancel Spencer, it'll have less momentum than his YouTube channel. Simple as that. The most simple part of my life right now is spotting a fraudulent influencer. We are not done just yet. The Organic Clown Show still has another chapter, so please make sure you're comfortable at home and have the ability to laugh uncontrollably. To play I do. a rich man. I do. I've, I've, I'm a rich I've, man. I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, an two estate? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> this is from Mr. Organic's appearance on the Miami podcast where a woman sensed Mr. Inauthentic was a fraud and called him out on it. Go ahead and show, show me the title. To, we gotta show a paperwork to somebody <laughs> Got no paper. That would make no sense. <laughs> she challenged Organic and word around the streets is she's still looking for the deed today. I'm sure Organic's response was that high value men don't need to show paperwork to peasants. It was a time in life when a peasant got to talk to a king. You know what I'm saying? That's a, rare, a very rare occurrence. Yeah. So I had to put her in her place. Understand? I do got that. Like right. you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. but and also with a real person who got something, you don't got to prove nothing to everybody. Uh -huh. That makes you, you know what I'm saying, lesser than. Right. You just state your facts and you go about your business. Right. Doesn't feel the need to prove anything to anyone, builds entire brand on Flash and lying about ownership, picks both. Show me, show me, pull up that deed. Can he pull up the deed? Can you pull up the deed? You don't even know what a deed is. She owned him. You don't even know what a deed is. <laughs> and of course, these three high value men proceeded to destroy her reputation all over social media because of how much she got owned. Their fans love this, of course, even though they're the ones getting played, like a Tampa Bay Bucks all out blitz at the end of a game. I mean, show me, pull no up that deed. <laughs> Can he pull, pull up, up the deed? deed? I found that clip to be perfectly representative of the clown show down in Miami. A woman calls out Organic because she knows he's a fraud. He defames her and then all of us find out she was in the right. Mm -hmm. And they know I'm unconventional with my understanding how I treat women, how I keep it real with them. I don't lie. I don't hide behind their backs. I keep it pure with bitches, you know what I'm saying? And they know what they sign up. I'm rich and I'm a fly big dick and I can fucking do whatever I want with anybody. The dude is hilarious. I'll give him that. Never has to lie to a woman, but caught in 4K doing so. I also wonder what he tells his girlfriends about the furniture in the house when they notice the cheap gold throne chair off of Craigslist, not matching the expensive furniture left by the owners. Here's his Instagram post with the description, bought my first home and it's an estate. He went on to claim that it's a rent to own property once everyone found out it was rented. The reason why people do rent to own is because they aren't able to acquire a loan for the purchase, but believe they will within the next couple of years so they get the house under contract to buy at a later 
date. He said in videos that he doesn't know where he wants to go next. My interpretation is that he didn't sign a rent to own contract because he wouldn't consider moving if he did. On most rent to own contracts, especially a house as nice as his, you're putting down five to 10% in cash as the down payment. Assuming that house is worth a couple million, we're talking a sizable amount of cash for the down payment that he wouldn't just up and move. He's really just lying his way out of every corner that he gets backed into. The reason he can't buy is because lenders ask for proof of income, and my guess, just my opinion, he doesn't have tax return income that can qualify for a mortgage. In his No Jumper podcast, Adam asks Organic about the people online saying he's scamming and asks how he makes his money. I love it because it keeps the sense of mystery, right? Right. But anybody knows me know I'm the realest ever made, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Ever with an A. People call themselves the GOAT, I'm the Ram. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm knocking down. Anybody knows me know I'm one of the hardest working genuine humans on earth. I don't think Organic is scamming anyone, I just think he presents himself as someone he's not. He's a really good YouTuber at getting your attention. He's turned that attention into AdSense, sponsorships, and merch. It's not any more complicated than that. You know I'm saying? I got so many products, I got so many investors, I'm so mm -hmm. into crypto, I'm so into stock market. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got so much shit out there, it's crazy, I'm like an octopus. Organic has videos saying he's made millions in crypto and presents himself as a crypto expert. He even throws in that he's in the stock market. Here's a challenge for Organic. Let's find a crypto index fund or find something that gives us a good metric of the overall market. We'll then take Organic's portfolio and compare it against the index. If he's outperformed it for the past few years, then we'll label him as a valid guru. If he hasn't, then he's not. Simple. Instead of explaining how he got rich, he went into a tirade about how awesome he is, how much jewelry he has, and then compares himself to Jesus. His new nickname should be Hot Air Balloon because he's the king of speaking for 10 minutes without saying anything. Uh, let me tell y'all one more time about something, man. We did she. That was cool. I made a lot of, I made millions of dollars with sheep. All praise the most high, right? I did Dogecoin, made a lot of money with Dogecoin. You know, the two dog coins. Now we got the dog of all dogs. We got the, we got the most ferocious, the most electric dog to ever touch this earth, man. I am Voltron, the leader of the Volt Army. Get you some Vote Inu. The link is below in the description. The link is also pinned in the chat. For those of you who follow Mr. Inauthentic, you should ask him to prove it. I personally don't really care, but if you're taking investing advice from someone, you should know exactly where their income sources come from. Here's a paid press release on Yahoo for Volt Inu with a section titled Volt Inu is hiring meme coin influencers. You know Mr. Inauthentic was all over this ad. He's like the kid in the front of the class waving his arms, pick me, pick me, let me be the one promoting your meme coin. Do you guys really think a legitimate crypto investor would become a pom-pom waiver for a meme coin? Come on guys, this project is just like every other one where the developers and owner will make a bunch of money and its only value will be the 24 hours after it gets pumped on social media and slowly die out over the next 12 months after Organic moves on to Gargoyle Inu. Prove your income to, oh man, we're gonna prove some income to a broke motherfucker, man. Why would a rich nigga sell a broke nigga any motherfucking thing? Shut your hot piss drinking ass up, you dolphin dick sucking bitch. Here's why I think influencers who promote anything investment related should have to disclose income. It's so you, the consumer, will be better served with figuring out whose advice to take. If Organic ever reveals his income, you'll find out that it's AdSense, merch, and sponsorships. He might have made money in crypto, but the real question is if he beat the market. Because if he didn't, then you're better off just buying the top coins or a crypto index fund and officially solidifying his position as a fake guru. What top, what top five cryptos you're looking at? Vote Inu, vote Inu, vote Inu. If you watch his live, he promotes Volt more than his purses. I understand it though, rent's due in a week. Go tell your mom to buy a house, you servant. <laughs> Slave. Now I got a house around my neck and wrist. What the f are you talking about, a house? Now I got an estate in Malibu. You shitball eating that. <laughs> you diarrhea shakes sipping that. Nigga. Shut your broken ass up. Nigga. I was really glad to have watched this live because I knew the preach prosperity blessings and positivity BS in every video is a facade. As long as you got this right here, peace, prosperity, positivity, and progression, you'd be good. If you want to see how Organic really treats people, watch his YouTube live streams. This is where you'll understand that his new nickname, Mr. Inauthentic, is perfect. Be humble, humble down, homeboy. Shut up. Humble this dick in the back of your neck and go to sleep with it. In, go to sleep with the cum in your throat, weirdo ass nigga. Telling the God to humble down. Who the fuck is you talking to? <laughs> I don't ever hear him say any of this in his videos about preaching positivity and prosperity. I shouldn't be surprised because frauds aren't typically congruent with who they say they are. Spencer, own multiple properties. I don't give a fuck about owning that bum ass property. What is that bringing in revenue? That property ain't making more money than my vote. Enu ain't making more money than me, you stupid bitch. I don't give a fuck about no nigga owning no raggedy ass property. That shit don't make no money, man. 
I ain't on some property. That little two hundred dollars a month you get after you pay your mortgage. What the fuck is that doing for your life, nigga? I made million dollars in sheep. I got millions of dollars in sheep. Finna make millions of dollars in vote Inu. Talking about some dumb ass, bum ass, raggedy ass property ain't making no fucking money. Is you stupid? This ain't nineteen fucking ninety one. I made more money from a shout out than I'm gonna make from renting this whole fucking year. Is y'all dumb? Old ass goddamn real estate in them bum ass houses. That shit old and fucked up. I'm in a state in Malibu, nigga, with jury on. Something seems to have struck a nerve with Mr. Rent to Own. Real estate is building long money. Mr. Organic is focused on short money. Yes, gambling can make you more money in the short term, but I'll make significantly more than Mr. Organic in the long term. He's 40, I'm 31. In about two to three years, my net worth will surpass his, and he'll never be able to catch up because I'm chasing wealth and ownership, not flash. So going by age, I'm exponentially further along than he is, but who really cares? You know what I'm saying? Nigga said buy a house. Then I got a house around my my neck you broke roach this is all fun and games to me i don't have any hate for the guy i think he's funny and entertaining i'll call him a fraud until he proves he earned his money legally and that he's as savvy an investor as he claims since he gives financial advice i think that's a reasonable request his other nickname is hot air balloon until he makes a video with any substance and not clickbaiting using cars he doesn't own that are sitting in a shop my best guess is he'll be doing cameos like the island boys for a hundred dollars in about eight months thanks for watching